Hey you guys, I got a uh, massive haul for this weekend. I got a few things I know a few of you guys are going to go uh, ape crap over and love. Um, first thing though I'd like to show is I found some four foot figures. Yes, I did say four foot figures. Star Wars figures. I'm going to show you guys first. They, uh, these guys have got great articulation. Everything moves good. Good paint. He's got good articulation in his arms and both arms. You can move them and set them wherever you need. But that's it. Four foot figures. Alright. Yeah. I found me found. G.I. Joe's. Thanks to Remarkable for telling me to go to Marshalls, which I would have never thought in my life. I found the Marshalls. wasn't where I lived. It was a uh, pretty good ways away, but I went there, and this is what I found, so it was worth it. Got the uh, Storm Shadow Ninja Mercenary Rise of uh, Cobra. Alley Viper. Cobra Commander. Then from the 25th anniversary, I got the Cobra Paratrooper. This is not even the uh, icing on the cake yet. I mean, this isn't even the beginning. I've got uh, 12 or 13 more, which I'll do a video on all just those because i got a lot of other things to show you guys. But I've got like 12 or 13 more of uh, all these, the, uh, the new ones. Uh, last night... Went and found the uh, Red Skull, Captain America. Found some more Star Wars figures. Two more Dark Vaders. Three PO, which is a good one. All these are 95 Kenners. Every one of these figures that I just picked up. They're all 95 Kenner. They all look really good. Stormtrooper. He's had better days, but. Good buddy of mine, off of YouTube, come over to my house uh, Saturday, brought me a goodie bag. In that bag, he brought me one of the hardest figures. This is a Ghostbusters, but from the very, very, very first cartoon. Uh, this is from the very first series that they ran. These guys are really, really hard to find. This is actually the first one I've ever seen, which is very cool. This is from the series that I do have figures in. This is the police officer. He's got a monster inside of him, his eyes flip up, and a green lantern ring, pin, a couple of the uh, old 80s McDonald's Transformers, Leonardo, great condition, first run. Now, I've been talking about these for a long time. I'm not a Transformer collector, as you guys can you know, already know, but there's a few that, uh, that I love, I mean, I'm not knocking them by no means, I love them, but I just never got into collecting them, but as a kid, this set here, the Constructicon set, I had, and absolutely loved as a kid, I mean, I always toted these guys around with me everywhere I went, they, uh, they stayed in my pocket, so they're real nostalgic, and, uh, hold a lot of memories, and, warm fuzzy feeling I get whenever I see him and he was kind enough he is a huge transformer collector I mean this guy has got some transformers man die hard collector and uh, he was cool enough man to give me these out of his set He's got all the pieces weapons everything the full set to go together uh, his name's Elvis thank you buddy I know you probably don't see this video, but in case you ever do, thank you.
Um, he also got me. The uh, Ultra Quartz figures, 12 inch. This helmet comes off. These were like the knockoff GI Joes, but I've never seen any 12. I didn't know they made 12 inch figures. Not only did he find that, but he got this. This thing is huge, man. Big, huge Zeta. Some weapons. These little few things here. But anyway, to the extremely good. Look what I have. And this thing is massive, as you can see. My hand doesn't even go from the bottom of his foot to his kneecap. Articulation is crazy on this thing. He moves everywhere. He's got the wrist joints, the elbow joints, full arm rotation. Beautiful, beautiful figure. One of the coolest and prettiest figures I've ever seen. Nightcrawler. Huge leather jacket on with the button and zipper. I mean, this thing is detailed to the max. Got his tail going on back here. Somebody tell me, I can't remember who this guy is. He's got the light. The chest opens up, I guess, to put some slides in. And then you can turn the slides and then push the button and the flashlight. I can't remember his name. Got him. And this guy is huge. So if this tells you anything, look at him compared. This is him next to these two guys. His head doesn't even hit his waist. I mean, these figures are massive, man. Included, Dark Maw. I know these pieces are missing his sabers on the end, but this is cool. You turn him, and then hit the, the ends will light up on both ends, so if you have them displayed, you just twist them, and you can have his saber light up. You got a uh, number there. These guys were actually picked up out of Kentucky for me this weekend for my mother and father-in-law. And this claws will retract. Button on the back, this claws shoot back in and this and that. He's pretty massive himself, so. I've got a red skull. But, uh, and finally, I found G.I. Joe's. Actually bought a, I got three of these guys right now. Thanks to, um, Chap, he sent me one, and I bought two of these. And this guy rocks. But this is my uh, little haul slash medium size haul. I know some of you guys are gonna love these <laughs> these huge beggars here. Virus, dude, for one. I know you're gonna cut up. And uh, next telecat, I know you're going to love these guys. But anyway, my Star Wars pickups there. My 12 inch uh, Army Corps figure, Sea Dew missile launchers and goodies. Green Lantern stuff. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, 